Hey, good people. I hope all is well. Arthur Morris here. We're going to take a look at this bacteria growth problem. So the first thing that I would recommend that you do is pause the video and copy down the problem. Okay, so here we have uh, the number of bacteria in a culture is increasing according to the law of exponential growth. There are 125 bacteria in the culture after two hours and 350 bacteria after four hours. Find the initial population, write an, an exponential growth module model for the bacteria population. Let T represent time in hours. Use the model to determine the number of bacteria after eight hours. After how many hours will the bacteria be? Count the 25,000. So the first thing that we're going to uh, look at I'm going to expand this out a little bit so I have more room to write is to find finding the initial population okay finding the initial population all right all right so with the initial population um, we know that uh, the initial population is going to be at what well, time is zero hours. So finding the initial population, we need to keep in mind uh, that the time is equal to zero. So if we're using the function, the growth function of P of T equals C times E to the KT, then the initial time would have to be zero. Which means that e to the k of zero would be, uh, that would just give us c. p times p of zero equals c. So if we can find out what c is, then we'll have that initial uh, population at the time of zero. Okay. So let's look here and see what we have. First thing we were given is that 125 bacteria was present after two hours. So let's write that out in the function. C equals, or 125 equals C times E to the 2K. And then we were also given that after four hours we had 300 the population of the bacteria was 350 so all right so let's use a uh, system of equations and substitution and figure this out so if I divide 125 divided by e to the 2k that would be the same thing as 125 times e to the negative 2k moving that back up to the numerator And then I can take that and sub over in that second equation, replacing C. With 125 times e to the negative 2k. And then times e to the 4k. And then simplifying that. Combining, uh, multiplying like basis, add the exponents. So that's e to the 2k. And divide both sides by 125. And then let's, uh, we're trying to solve this thing for k, so we need to get rid of the e. Let's take the natural law of both sides. We can go ahead and simplify that. 350 over 125 to 14 over 5. All right, and that gives us 2k. And then multiply both sides by one half to get rid of the two. So k equals one half the natural log of 14 over 
five. Okay, so now that we uh, know what k is, now we can go back and uh, find the value of c by substituting back in where we have c equals 125 e to the negative 2k. So now let's go ahead and find the value of c because if we find the value of c, remember we will have uh, that initial population. Right, so we want to find C. So we know that C equals 125 e to the negative 2k. Therefore, C equals 125 times, let's move it down just a little bit. C equals 125 times e to the negative 2 times one half of the natural log of 14 over five. So I'm replacing the K with one half natural log of 14 over five. Okay, and then we can simplify the negative two and the one half. give us negative 1 times the natural log of 14 over 5. And uh, let's see here. We can move this down to our denominator because of that negative exponent. Now, if you want to go ahead and throw that in your calculator, you can. So how about we do that? Let's just um, go ahead and put this in the calculator and and let's simplify because we just needed that initial value. And I think it said round to the nearest whole number. So if we throw that in the calculator, we get approximately 44.64, which equals uh, rounding to the nearest whole number 45 for part A. So that's part A. All right, so the initial population is 45 bacteria. All right. Okay, so part B, let's go back to this page. Part B asks us to write an exponential growth module for the bacteria population. Let T represent time in hours. Okay, so now that we know what K is, we know K then we can write this model for this. So again, thinking of part B, we remember that uh, P of T equals C times E to the KT. Okay, let's see here. And before we do that, I, I know the computer doesn't want a decimal answer here. So uh, let's go back up to C and simplify this a little bit more before we get to the actual um, 44.64. So we'll have what we need for uh, web assign here. So let's simplify this a little bit more. So let's go here and let's say, um, let's move this down to our denominator. So we have E raised to natural log of 14 over 5. And E and natural log will cancel each other out. So we have C equals 125 over uh, 14 over 5. And then we would flip and multiply. So uh, C would be equal to 635 over 14 which then would give us a 44.64 or 45. So let's keep this fraction in mind as well, where C was equal to uh, 635 over 14. All right, now let's look at part B. So 
Let's come over here to the side and look at part B. So part B, remember we wanted the model, so we have uh, P of T equals C times E to the KT. And now we know what C is and we know what K is, so we can write this model. So P of T equals C is 635 over 14. Uh, and then E, and it says to the KT, so K is one half. And then we'll go ahead and write the T, and from the T, from the formula here, and then uh, natural log of 14 over 5. All right, and that would be our model. First answer for part B, the model would be P of T uh, equals uh, 635 over 14 times E raised to 1 half times T times the natural log of 14 over 5. Okay. And then C asks us to find, uh, use the model to determine the number of bacteria after eight hours. So C, we're looking at the time being equal to eight hours. So T is equal to eight here. All right, so we have P of eight equals 635 over 14 times e to the one half of eight, replacing t with eight, times the natural log of 14 over five. And again, uh, you should be able to, if you go ahead and simplify the one half of eight, and make that e to the four times the natural log of 14 over five. You should be able to take that and put it in your calculator. Let's see what we come out with here. Let's see. So we have 635 over 14 uh, times e to the fourth the natural log of 14 over 5. And that gives us approximately, I think it wanted two decimal places, and I have 27.87.90, so about 27, 2787.9. Alrighty, so that's part C, and then let's see what part D was here. So here's part C, just took it and plugged it in, and part D asks us, says, after how many hours will a bacteria count be 25,000? So now we're looking at the same formula, using the same formula that we came up with, the model that we came up with. However, we're going to replace P of T with 25,000 and solve for T. All right, so, so again, the model that we have, this is part D, we, uh, it's asking for, uh, after how many hours will we have 25,000 bacteria? So the model, we have P of T equals uh, 635. over 14 times e to the one half t natural log of 14 over 5. Alrighty. So in this case, uh, 
P of T or the amount of bacteria is equal to 25,000. So we're going to replace P of T with 25,000 and solve this equation for T. So now we have 635 over 14 P to the 1 half T natural. All right, so let's multiply both sides by 14 over 35 to remove that fraction from that right-hand side. So if I multiply 25,000 times 14, that gives us 350,000 all over 635. Now we're trying to solve for t and it's right now in the exponential position uh, of e so we need to get that uh, moved down so that means we need to take the natural log or find the natural log of both sides remember the natural log of e that cancels they cancel each other out so that would give us on that right hand side one half of t times the natural log of 14 over 5. All right, so let's remove that one half from over there by multiplying both sides by 2. And then let's isolate t by dividing both sides by the natural log of 14 over 5. And then we would take all of that, put it in the calculator and find out that t equals approximately 12.26 so after 12.26 hours then the population would be that 25,000 of the bacteria all righty good people i hope you found this video to be helpful thank you